Hi, this is Beata from Split Coast Stampers. In this video I show you a technique I call acrylic distress. I learned it at Ranger University where Tim did the same thing with grunge board and called it textured grunge. What you need first is a piece of cardstock. I use Nina Solo White cardstock because it's really thick and emboss that cardstock. I used um, Cuddlebox Fleur de Lis embossing folder. Next Use a light colored acrylic da dabber or any acrylic paint and just cover the entire image, uh, the entire piece of cardstock with uh, paint. Once that's done, you have to make sure, oh, there's a little bit left, but it doesn't really matter, um, to dry the entire piece of cardstock before you can move on to the next step. Then you need a sanding tool. I'm using a snow block and just rub over the image and take some of the acrylic paint that you put on over the embossed image off again. When you think you have enough, just clean your area and uh, wipe off the extra dust on your cardstock. And then use a brown color, I'm using walnut stain, and just apply that over your sanded cardstock. The ink will stick where you took the acrylic paint off. And take your, your cotton rag and mist it a little bit with water and take, wipe it over your cardstock and it will take the brown ink off your acrylic paint and then you'll have a very rustic background. If you decide you would like to have more brown, you could sand it again. What I did after I've done with this, I ran it through my um, nested wizard again with my nestability die to get the uh, embossing of the nestability die and then sanded it again for a more finished look. I hope you try this technique out. It's a lot of fun. I love this background. See you next time.